the Bible assures us that the effects of the cross are cosmic. When we read Colossians, when we read Ephesians, we see that the atoning work of Jesus reconciles everything in heaven on earth, reconciles everything in the entire cosmos. And so if they exist and have fallen, the Lord will have taken care of it in some way. What should we expect in the future? And this is my final question. Should we expect to find aliens, to come into contact with them? I personally doubt it very much. The vast interstellar distances make it seem unlikely that that anyone, any being, would ever be able to make the journey to Earth without being fried, given the level of of nuclear of, of radiation in outer space. So there may be little point in pursuing it further. I, uh, well, there's a point in pursuing it in the entertainment field because uh, no doubt thousands more fascinating uh, movies and books will be made uh, and will make money um, centered around this topic. But should we expect that we'll actually be making contact with aliens? Um, I'd be very surprised. Whether they're there or not, just the distances involved in the cosmos are so enormous. What if we did? What would we expect? Again, I think that's very unlikely. Would they be a wise race of creatures, uh, good uh, at a higher level than we are? In some movies portray aliens this way, like E.T., or would they be malevolent beings, bent on destruction, uh, um, exploiting our planet, enslaving us? Think of... uh, Movies like Independence Day and, or, uh, say, War of the Worlds. Who's to say? Millions of dollars are actually spent in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Uh, that's uh, something that goes on on a very serious basis. Uh, the, the skies are scanned, uh, seeking signals, because presumably, even if there is a, a great distance between us and these aliens, uh, some signals uh, may have been sent out. And... Uh, even if they were sent out millions of years ago, they might reach us eventually. Uh, who can rule that out? But uh, you know, if it takes millions of years for a signal to come, you know, we won't be the ones in the communication <laughs> with these beings, even if we return the message, uh, if the human race is even still alive. Well, finally, let me just say, most things about our universe are not in the Bible. The Bible is primarily a book Uh, about relationships, relationships first between us and our Creator, and second, relationships uh, between people. Most things in the world are not mentioned in the Bible, uh, from Pluto to the periodic table, from dinosaurs to DNA. None of this is revealed, nor does it need to be revealed. But we do have what we need to have. God has told us what we need for life and salvation, for godliness and for peace and joy. Speculation, that's okay. Making films about what could be has its place. But let's never devote more energy to this kind of speculation than we do to a serious study of God's Word.